and welcome to Okoit Bay National Estuarine Research Reserve, which is located in Falmouth and Mashpee on Cape Cod in Massachusetts. At Okoit Bay, we research coastal ecosystems and the human impacts on them. The reserve is part of the Massachusetts State Parks and is administered by the Department of Conservation and Recreation. There are plenty of interesting things to see and do at Okoit Bay Reserve, Today, you will get a chance to learn about the adaptations and the life cycle of the horseshoe crab and the important role this creature plays in our coastal ecosystems. Every year, horseshoe crabs gather along the bay to lay their eggs. During the high tides of May to July, female and male horseshoe crabs come up on the shore to breathe. The females lay their eggs into the sand while the males fertilize them. This begins the life cycle of the horseshoe crab. The horseshoe crab life cycle starts out with the egg. 14 to 30 days after fertilization, the eggs start to hatch one by one. This begins the larval stage. In their natural habitat, the baby horseshoe crabs will make its way into the water. Baby horseshoe crabs will molt around 20 days after hatching and will continue to molt every single year. Horseshoe crabs shed the outer layer of their shell in order to prepare for the new stage of growth. This is a horseshoe crab molt, and it is located at Wakoit Bay headquarters. After a successful molt, the baby horseshoe crabs will now become young adults. Young adults often remain in intertidal flats along the shore. Older horseshoe crabs are often found in deeper waters offshore. Horseshoe crabs reach adulthood 9 to 11 years after birth and can live up to 20 years in the wild. After reaching the adult stage, the horseshoe crabs will come back each year on shore to breed and mate, and thus completing the life cycle of the horseshoe crab. An adaptation is the modified parts of an organism that allows it to be better suited for survival within its habitat conditions. The horseshoe crab has many adaptations that has allowed it to survive over 445 million years. Let's have a closer look at each adaptation, starting with the eyes. The, water, the eyes are right here. Oh, wow. Those are two oh. compound eyes. They actually have 10 eyes altogether. So these ones are more like horsefly eyes, and then they have a couple more here, and then there's some by their mouth, and then they also have light sensor things on their tail. Next, let's learn about the tail, also called the telson. People are usually scared of their tail, but they just use that for digging and for flipping themselves around. The next adaptation is the gills. And then these are the gills, this is how they breathe. They also use these for swimming, so they swim in the water upside down. And they use this, this helps push them through the water as well. The horseshoe crab's hard outer shell is also an adaptation. 
The horseshoe crab's hard outer shell protects its body from the harsh external environment, such as waves. Another amazing adaptation is the blood. Horseshoe crabs have copper in the blood, which gives it this bright blue color. The blood contains a special cell that allows it to fight against bacterial infections. Therefore, it is currently being used in the medical field to help with identifying deadly toxins in medicine. The last adaptation are the appendages, which is a fancy term for its arms and legs. called ch chelicera. So these are similar to what scorpions have and ticks and that's why they're they're more related to spiders and crabs. So they have these and they help push the food in. So they're walking across the bottom. There's little spurs all here that breaks up the food and then it gets into their mouth here in the center. Okay, so the females are bigger. Yep, they're bigger. It's the these claws are females. Oh. See how they're smaller? The males have these thick. Oh, that's right. Like, that's what you were saying. Like, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So that's what they have. Yeah. And they use these to hold on to the back of the female to mm -hmm. come up to the shore for breeding. This is a horseshoe crab, and they are very interesting creatures with very interesting diets. This is a picture of a horseshoe crab food web. Now you may be asking, why is a food web so important? This is because food webs show the natural connection between different species within their ecological communities. Here are some of the horseshoe crab's predator and prey. Let's focus on the horseshoe crab predators. Horseshoe crab eggs are full of nutrients and therefore make a nice meal for different animals, mainly shorebirds. Older horseshoe crabs go into deeper waters where they are hunted by sharks and turtles. Now let's move on to the horseshoe crab prey. Horseshoe crabs live primarily in shallow water. Their diet consists of animals that can be found near the shore. For example, shellfish like clams, mussels, and sea plants like algae. As you can see, horseshoe crab food webs are just a small part of a large marine food web. Looking at the horseshoe crab's position on the food web allows us to determine the role they play within the overall marine ecosystem and helps us understand how vital they are to our planet. As you can see, horseshoe crabs are both interesting and important animals. If you come to Wakoi Bay during the warmer months, you might get the chance to see one, or you can look for their molts any time of the year. Thanks for joining us today. We'd love to have you visit us someday.